Good afternoon, Mr. and Ms. Leverett. This is Tom Johnston at Lazy Days. Uh, Mr. Leverett, uh, thank you so much for calling me. Um, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Um, we spoke a little bit about this new bounder floor plan. It is the new 35K bath and a half, and it appears from the brochure, and I am trying to get confirmation on it, that you can get a king bed option in this floor bath and a half floor plan. So I wanted to give you a quick run around on this uh, so you could see the outside and inside. And if you didn't want to order it from the factory with the king bed, it's a possibility that I could make the king bed because it appears as though I have enough room within the slide. Um, I would have to cut away five, six inches of each of the nightstands and you would lose your drawers more than likely. However, that's all you would get with the factory anyway is very little nightstand and no drawers. So I can probably do the same thing here uh, with this particular coach if the floor plan works for you and uh, we just extend the frame of the bed and uh, make you a king bed so I have done that in other coaches and it works uh, fine my carpentry shop can do that for us so this is the 35k 2012 uh, Fleetwood Bounder uh, 35k floor plan bath and a half and again it appears you can get the king bed as an option or I may be able to make the king bed if this particular one may work for you. As you can see it's a full body paint, dual pane windows, Sony outside entertainment center with AM FM CD. You've got that corrugated storage down below, full body paint automatic Dometic awning up at the top slide toppers and two roof airs as well we just received this coach uh, a couple of days ago brand new floor plan for Bounder. As you can see you got your uh, cherry wood all the way around, Sony TV up front, power solar shades, one piece windshield, backup camera of course, You've got your power gear jack system, heated power mirrors, tank monitors, and of course desk pull out here for a computer, and also drawer space as well. Very similar to the south wind, but the new floor plan in this is pretty neat with the midship entertainment as well. As you can see, you still get solid surface countertops, just like the south wind, residential style faucet trees, just like the south wind, dual pane glass. They give you this booth dinette uh, with storage below. They give you front storage there. As you can see, cabinetries across the top. You get the new L shaped sofa as well in the middle of the coach. Stainless steel microwave. Again, wood paneled fronts, hidden hinges, solid surface countertops, four door residential refrigerator for you. Now here's your midship entertainment. This is nice because it doesn't get closed up in a slide. Large TV. And this one has a fireplace down below. And this is your mid bath.
Hello, Mr. and Ms. Leverett. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Raised toilet. And this is going back into the bedroom. I try to get this under seven minutes so that I can send it to you in one clip. But master bedroom. Now this is the queen size bed. And as you can see, you got nightstands on both sides with drawer. Now what the factory will do is they will cut that away to give you enough nightstand to put a drink on and you more than likely lose that cabinet drawer down there. And the same thing on this side. I can very well possibly do the same thing and just make that a king bed. This is looking across from the bed. Closets on both sides. Again, Sony TV. Plenty of drawer space. And this is your mid bath or master bath in the rear. We're still in the bedroom. There's your washer dryer. And then big shower with seat with skylight. Master cabinets. And then another closet with raised toilet in the back. So again, bath and a half bounder. Uh, it appears as we have a king bed option or I can maybe make that a king bed. But I wanted you to get a look at this new floor plan. I hope you're doing well. Let me know if this would be of interest for you. Bye-bye.